something you will go through as a content creator, whether you're a photographer, you're a videographer, you will face this issue. And it's about having a bad shoot day. How do you recover from that with the client? Not from you, because you will eventually shoot better, but how do you balance that with your client? But first, we got to roll graphics. You know how we roll, so let's do it. As a content creator, sometimes you have bad days where you have personal issues and you have bad days where you just, you're not shooting right. You're not bringing your A game, right? Things are just not what you want. Maybe you're just irritable. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep. Maybe you need to upgrade that mattress. Maybe you need to stop turning up to two o'clock in the morning knowing you got to shoot at eight. However, and whatever it is, I want to talk about how to recover from that. Usually you got to think about this. And this is one thing I want you all to focus on. And it is a way for you to show value to your client. I want you to think about the experience you provide on set. If it's a bad time on set and you deliver bad footage, even if you're willing to shoot, they may say, no, I just want my money back. No, we good. I just want my bread back. Just cut me my uh, deposit or retainer or whatever back. We're going to go a different route. But if they had a good time on set, they will want to continue to work with you. So I try to make sure that every time I'm working with the client, we provide a really good time. We've had times where we on photo shoots, we'll play music. We'll ask a client for their playlist. They were like, what, what? We're doing headshots or we're doing a, a long photo shoot with a client. We want to get your music playlist. I'll bring a portable Bluetooth speaker and we'll just rock out and we'll take pictures and everything will be fun. Find ways to bring that energy to your set and offer that experience. Also, clients will remember that. That will show back up in their photo feed a year from now and advertise for you. iPhone and Android and Facebook will advertise for you when those pictures they upload show up in their memories years later and you'll get free advertisement. In doing so, that client will call you back up for more. Man, I, oh yeah, we had such a good time. Hey, we want to shoot this. And in your mind, you're like, man, I had a bad day. I had a bad shoot. And you'd be surprised that sometimes you feel like you're off as far as you're shooting, but the client love it. they like, we had a good time. The quality is there. We didn't have any problems. You may have had a problem. So keep, I want you to really go into your next shoot, everybody, everybody here, and think about the energy and the environment you provide. How can I make this more fun? How can I make people enjoy this more? Because they don't look at what you do as work. You're there working, thinking about composition, lighting. How should I do this audio? They are there to have a good time because they think that making movies and shooting video is fun. You got a fun job. How'd you get into this? Your job is awesome. How'd you start doing that? So live up to that expectation and offer them a good time on set, right? When they feel like a star. And I'm going to tell you how you do it, right? You do it by pumping them up. You do it by telling them that they're doing a good job. You do it by um, making sure that they, they feel special, that they're doing something great, that they are a star. You know, you do it by complimenting them on how they're carrying themselves. Hey, you did a great job on that take, man. You, you're a natural at this. You're doing a really good job. Remember, I told you the most important tool in your bag is your personality. I'm going to tell you something else you can do that will make it fun. I rent a photo booth out. We have a photo booth as well because we do a lot of corporate events and we rent the booth and it's something to add on. I also use that booth or the screen from that booth to display images. So that when people, when I'm taking headshots, I can transfer them to that booth and people can instantly see their images. I've seen people do it with projectors. They got really cheap $250 projectors and they'll tether their, their camera to a laptop and then post a picture on the projector so that folks behind or waiting or outside the room can see what's going on in the room. They feel like a star when they see themselves on the screen. They feel like a star. They feel important. They feel special. This is something that will cost you little to nothing. 
and or you can use it as a upsell. So keep that in mind. Even when you're doing video, you get a wireless Hollyland system or whoever you want to get that transmit videos live and have a screen, which is usually a director's monitor and have it out for display to see what's going on in a room outside on the screen, make people feel special. They love it. And this is something that I just tried and I was just shocked at what I, the feedback that I got little extra things like that, that other, your competitor is not doing. You want to make sure that you think about stuff like that, that will add value. What would it cost you to do that? Little to nothing, right? If you get you a little wireless um, HDMI kit and a cheap $40 monitor and sit it outside, people will gather around just to watch the show. These are very little things that will just kill your competition. Your competition is not thinking about this. Your competition is thinking about how can they go from 4K to 8K right now. Your competition is thinking about how they're going to go from a video looking image to a cinematic looking image. Your competition is thinking about what LUTs they want to tell the client that they have that they can use on their footage. That's what your competition is thinking about right now. They're not thinking about how to make a client feel like a star so that that client will want to work with you even if they don't have anything to shoot. I have literally had clients hire me for that. I'm gonna give you an example. It's a client that I work for. It's a big restaurant chain. They have a multimedia department. They still call me. We had so much fun with you. We were like, you know, we're just gonna spend some of the budget. We just give our guys the day off and you guys come in and do it. Cool, say no more, bro. Let's go, let's do this, let's have fun. And then I show up at events and, you know, they'll be like, well, man, where you been, Ty, Ty, where you been? We asked for you. We, we specifically asked for you for this event. And they have a multimedia department in their company. So and not only that, I'm going to tell you what's crazy is their multimedia company or people who worked in their multimedia company, the heads who would bring us in to help with overflow, would refer us to different companies that they know people at that are completely different. And we, we got multiple jobs, big jobs working with different clients that they have referred. So when people love working with you, they'll find a reason to work with you. It's all about your energy, right? This goes back to the video or live where I talked about your personality and why that is so important and why you need to work on that and why you need to work on how you present yourself to your client. And you need to build the culture. Don't be the only one chipper and your team like, yeah, whatever. You make sure you are there and you create that culture. You set the bar. My team understands that that personality is important. They are around because of not just because of their ability to shoot, edit and light because of, also because of their personality, because of their attitudes, because of their ability to carry a conversation. Those are deciding factors on whether or not I want to deal with you on a daily basis. I don't care how good you are. If your personality sucks, I don't want you around me. Because we've done great work and had people who had bad personalities and the client was not wild. They wasn't wild about it. They wasn't extremely excited about the fact that they had fun on set. And I've had the opposite. I've had terrible shoot days. Stuff was out of focus. We were just, we just wasn't there. I just wasn't there. I had stuff going on. But I made sure we had a good time and that client worked with us over and over again. And they were like, hey, we get it. People have bad days. Cool. Let's shoot it again or let's do this or let's do that. So keep, keep in mind, you want if you don't have the personality, if you feel like you are not a people person, find ways to be better on set and find ways to make sure that your client is having a good time. This is something that I want you to work on, right? This is something that I definitely want you to think about as you move forward with your business, because I promise you all the advertising in the world, all the gear in the world, all this, that and the other. And you're going to be sitting up here like. I don't understand why clients ain't calling me back. I don't understand, you know, why I'm not having success. Your personality is everything.